Hi guys, I'm Steve from the All Electric family. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the batteries that I'm going to put in our camper. I'll tell you all about it and we'll see if it actually is what it's advertised. This is a 300 amp hour battery that I purchased off of Amazon and at the time of purchasing it, it was $900. That's a really good price for 900 amp hours of battery. This is 12 volt battery, lithium ion. I'm gonna unbox this, uh, tell you a little bit about it. It has a 200 amp BMS, battery management system, uh, that has overcharge protection, over discharge protection, uh, over temperature protection, and it does not actually have the low temp protection on it. And so I will have this hooked up to a solar charge controller that will not charge it if it gets uh, below a certain temperature. So you do have to keep that in mind if you're looking at the same battery. We will have this inside of our uh, camper, inside of our Airstream, and so it will be perfectly fine in there. But let's get to unboxing. <laughs> So as you can tell, this came boxed very nicely, a lot of protection. It also does weigh quite a bit because it is 300 amp hours. It weighs 70 pounds, which compared to a lead acid battery, that's uh, a lot less, that's for sure. And especially the amount of capacity that you can actually use. It does come with uh, some studs that screw into your terminals here. It does give you one piece of paper. It has what looks like most of their battery selections and it tells you, you know, what the standard discharging uh, current should be, what how the maximum amount of charging that you can put into it, uh, the continuous charging and all of that. So it also has it right here on the battery. So um, if it doesn't come with that, it's definitely right here. It also states that you can only hook up four of these in parallel. That would be a lot of power if you did that. I'm looking at hooking up two of these as long as it fits in the space that I'm looking at. And uh, that should be plenty of power for our needs. So all together it would be 600 amp hours of uh, battery usage. So, yeah, I don't think there's too much else here that I need to show you. What I'm gonna do now is go fully charge this and then once it's fully charged i'm going to actually run a capacity test on it to make sure that it's actually 300 amp hours because if it's not 300 amp hours then it's not worth keeping this battery and we'll definitely send it back and get a different one and so this will take a couple days so before we go and charge it let's see how they shift it they state that they ship it at 50% capacity, so let's see what voltage it runs. And so it does come to 13.2 volts, which for this battery, that should be roughly about 70% uh, battery capacity. So that's what mine came charged as. The other thing I was gonna do is actually weigh it. So let's put it on a scale because it says that it's 70.4 pounds. And it actually weighs 66.6 pounds. So a little bit less than what they say, so four pounds less than what they say. And uh, yeah, I'll take it a little bit lighter. All right, let's go get that thing charged uh, to full and then we'll run a capacity test. I just got the batteries fully charged and it settled in after it jumped up to 14.4 and then I don't know if the battery shut it off or what had happened but it, then I disconnected it and now it's settling in at 13.52 volts. So I went ahead and put my battery capacity tester on there 
and I don't have anything fancy. I just bought a thing off of uh, Amazon for like 40, 50 bucks. That's what I test batteries with. And it's, it can only go up to a little over 9 amps on a 300 amp hour battery. That's going to take a little while to discharge it. But I'll check it in a little over a day and see where we're at. Uh, see if it actually gets that 300 amp hours of battery capacity. Yeah, this battery definitely overproduced. Holy cow. It got 322 amp hours. So that equates to 4,100 watt hours of power. So this thing is a very cheap battery, but it overproduces what is actually advertised. And I just want to do a full disclaimer how I came from the 322 amp hours. I used this battery capacity tester and that's what that showed up through my smart shunt. I just wanted to double check. It came up with 314 amp hours. This thing typically under uh, calculates. So even if you don't want to believe this thing, 314 amp hours, so still overproduces. It's supposed to be 300 amp hours. So this battery is well worth it. It also sh had a low voltage shutoff at 11.27 volts. So even before it hits its low shutoff voltage. So this battery definitely overproduces what it says it's going to. So I'm very happy with it. Um, I wouldn't hesitate to order another one. So, so as you can tell, this battery is as advertised on the dimensions. I also contacted the manufacturer and they said that the battery can be orientated any direction besides upside down. And I'm gonna make sure and put a link to all this stuff in the description so you can find that down there. But uh, yeah, I hope this video uh, was helpful to you. And if you want, you can go ahead and follow along with us, but we'll see you on the next one, guys.